In this video, we would understand how to count forward in fractions. Let's say we are given 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6 as the first three terms in the fraction. And the question wants us to complete the pattern. We have to check the numerator pattern separately and denominator pattern separately. So on the numerator side, we see that 1 goes up to 2, so we are adding 1 each time. 2 goes up to 3, that means we are adding 1 again. Then we check the denominator, we are going up by 2s. So from here we notice that the numerator goes up by 1s and the denominator goes up by 2s. Therefore, the next fraction would be 3 plus 1 is 4, 6 plus 2 is 8, and so on. 5, 8 plus 2 is 10, 5 plus 1 is 6, 10 plus 2 is 12, 6 plus 1 is 7, 12 plus 2 is 14. And this is how we complete the pattern when it comes to fractions. Let's take up another example. If we are given 2 over 5, 4 over 8, 6 over 11, we check the numerators. We see that the numerator is going up by 2, so it's adding 2 each time. And the denominator is going up by 3s. So 6 plus 2 gives us an 8. 11 plus 3 gives us a 14. And so on. Plus 2 gives us a 10, 14 plus 3 gives us a 17, and we get 12 over 20. Similarly, when we continue the pattern, we get 14 over 23. As the last term, we can extend the pattern up to whatever number we want, but since we are given just four blanks to fill up, that's why we would just finish it after this. So whenever we are working on fraction patterns, we check the pattern and the numerator separately and the pattern and the denominator separately. We follow the numerator and the denominator pattern and we can fill up the blanks for fractions.